This segment is on how to sample a, uh, a popcorn ceiling sort of a texture or for that matter any sort of asbestos material or something that you might think is potentially asbestos. As the realtor you don't necessarily want to consider this for, to be training for how you personally should do it. Again that would be last resort. If you're in the middle of nowhere and there's nobody available you might have to take this on but be aware that you're doing this at the risk of your own lungs don't do it. So how to sample. So one of the things you're going to want to have at your disposal is either a Ziploc baggie or an airtight container. Um, if you go to ALS you can get to this little vial a sample tube that is available from ALS and the goal is to once you've got this uh, asbestos containing material captured and in, and in the container you want to make sure that the container is not going to rupture or break and you want to make sure that it stays where it's supposed to be. You can only imagine the uh, nasty scenario if you were to put it in a loose baggie maybe the baggie uh, ruptures or whatever or maybe it just leaks asbestos out maybe you've mailed it in a standard mailer and it gets to the lab and the lab um, opens this up and now they've got asbestos fibers all over their lab and um, they've got to take extraordinary steps so that they can continue to provide reliable service for every other customer. So in many cases if the lab sees something sent to them that is not well sealed they won't accept it, it doesn't come through their front door and they'll just send you a um, a nasty little letter that says sorry we didn't uh, we didn't analyze your stuff because it wasn't sealed so item number one is it's got to be you know at least in an airtight baggie or better yet in some sort of a of an airtight sort of a vial or container uh, you want to use a spray gun um, just a little hand sprayer will be fine a little bit of water you want to turn that uh, if, if we're sampling the asbestos or the popcorn ceiling texture for sampling that you can just spray that just a little bit get a little bit wet and then as you're um, as we're using the knife to to get popcorn ceiling texture down um, we're not releasing fibers into the air if the home inspector is doing it you're going to want to make sure that he is sampling from a number of different locations and you want to make sure that uh, he has by the time he's done he has sampled at least enough to at least cover the head of a quarter you know you don't want to just have one small dot be the representative for what's happening through the entire room um, another thought is that generally uh, in most homes when the home has asbestos throughout maybe the main floor um, chances of that being sprayed in at the same time are pretty good but you never know so maybe if, if we do have asbestos maybe in the living room in the kitchen and all the bedrooms it might be a good idea to take a small part of that sample from every one of those rooms so that if maybe this room was sprayed not with asbestos and that room was sprayed with asbestos at least we know that there's asbestos in the, uh, the space the alternative would be to actually have a sample for this room, a sample for that room, and a sample for each of those rooms over there. But as you might guess, that gets considerably more expensive. Another thing you want to make sure uh, doesn't happen is you don't want to have any specks on the floor. So if I'm up here working on this popcorn ceiling texture and I'm, I've got my vial up here and I'm trying to get everything to go in, uh, you want to make sure that we're not raining other particles down onto the floor. Now if that does happen you want to make sure they get picked up so that they're not being walked across continuously and the asbestos fibers that are in them being run up into the air where again they get breathed and then they cause lung issues. Uh, that's how to do a sample for asbestos. In the next segment we're going to talk about abatement and how remediation on asbestos should be done.